Hi, this is one in a set of videos that we're going to be producing on talking about different concepts of operating the Foster Systems Observatory Dome Program Management System. Uh, currently, today's topic is going to be synchronization of the telescope and dome. Uh, what drives this topic is that the dome control system has absolutely no way of knowing which way the dome is pointing unless you tell it and you tell it by using the synchronization to scope button. The only thing that the dome knows is that magnetic sensor that you've installed and that can be installed really for convenience sake anywhere in the 360 degree circle even though we recommend installing it in the south and I'll go into that in another uh, subsequent video but really the, that positioning of the magnet doesn't tell us anything what tells us everything is the calculations done by the program knowing which way the telescope has to point and thereby when we synchronize the telescope to the dome then the program knows where the dome is pointing. A couple assumptions that I have to make with this video is that one is that you have set all the dome measurements in the dome setup panel and those measurements are very critical in fact down to the millimeter and those are the measurements that determine the offsets whether the telescope mount is above or below the dome horizon if it's north of the center south of the center east or west of the center and uh, we'll have a separate video just on that topic because that is a topic of uh, lots of conversation and questions back to synchronization as you'll see at this time uh, the dome is indicating that it's pointing somewhere a little south of east which is incorrect in fact if you look at the webcam the dome is currently pointing to the south and the software thinks it's pointed to the east we obviously are not synchronized but synchronizing that is actually quite simple right now what we will do is we will click on the sync to scope button once it'll turn kind of a yellow manila uh, color and then we have to manually move the dome using the slew east or west buttons to the position that the telescope can see out the shutter and then we synchronize at that position and then all the magic happens so here I am I'm moving the dome currently to synchronize with the opening of the telescope and I think I'm getting pretty close. I'll go ahead and stop it now. Now the telescope has pointed out the slit. And the last thing I have to do is click the sync to scope button. But before I do that, you'll see there is these two numbers here. Dome azimuth. Before the synchronization, the dome thinks it's pointed to an azimuth of 37 degrees, which is totally wrong and the program is telling the dome to really go point to 99 degrees which is the calculation from the telescope that's the number since they're not synchronized right now if I hit the dome slave button the dome would take off again to the wrong position to get this synchronized but I can fix that now so if I just click on sync to scope you'll see the button will flash green and then go back to gray and then the magic happened. The dome azimuth is now 99 degrees because it, that's from the calculation. It made that match the go to azimuth of 99 degrees. So now the dome and telescope will move in unison. Not at the same time, but every time you indicate the telescope to slew to a position, the dome will follow the last piece of that magic that you will have to do is you have to click the dome slave button and from then on the dome will follow the scope and just a quick 
demonstration of that is I'll go ahead and uh, move, slew the scope towards the northeast and you'll see the telescope takes off towards the northeast the program has recalculated that the dome azimuth should go to 33 and that's what's happening now the, the dome is moving towards that pointing position which if all the magic worked correctly the telescope is now pointing out of the slit and I can confirm that. You can see that in the webcam. So just to recap very quickly to quickly synchronize the dome to the telescope you first click on the sync to scope button until it turns yellow. At that point you slew either east or west to get the dome to match the telescope and then you click the sync to scope button once again it'll blink green and then turn gray again and then your confirmation that everything worked is your dome azimuth and command azimuth will be the same at that point you click on the dome slave uh, checkbox and the telescope from then on should follow your correction, the dome will follow the telescope when you salute.